Well, hi, my name is Ujima Sam, and I'm the Assistant Vice President of Total Talent Management. And my colleagues and I have worked on a few resources to share uh, with you during this season. Um, are you a leader? Well, lean in and let's chat. Uh, I'd like to share just a few best practices with you that I think might help you and your team during this election season. I mean, collectively, we've been through a lot um, over the past five or more years. And this season may test uh, your leadership or personal mettle. So I wrote um, a few do's and don'ts for you um, in a note uh, that I'd like to share. And I'm really hoping that these will help you better navigate um, during this season. So the first of these is to be mindful um, of your role in helping your staff really navigate the various situations that arise. Your role is so important um, in, in uh, helping them to navigate. Uh, we want to make sure that, um, you know, we're finding ways to help pe people find just a sense of stability. Um, maybe they have that at home, maybe they don't. Um, and they're, they'll be coming to work and they bring their whole self with them. So we want to be able to, to uh, provide direction and support um, as we can. Um, what I would say don't is don't participate. Don't feel pressured to participate in conversations um, that in ways that could cause situations to become more inflammatory um, than they need to be. Um, you know, I mean, I think that we can, you know, protect our uh, work environments by um, just ensuring that um, we can listen, making sure that we we, we listen, um, but not um, causing things to become more inflamed than they are. Pause, breathe. Um, when things get a bit heated uh, for you, if you are feeling that way, um, you know, it's okay. Take a moment. Take care of yourself. Um, but also uh, remind yourself to leave um, personal socio-political opinions, right, to be discussed in the comforts of your own home. Um, and do remember that uh, we all belong here um, at the University of Washington. So inclusion and belonging are important to us here at UW. And our Chief Diversity Officer, Ricky Hall, and others um, have just rolled out a new inclusion statement, and you may or may not have seen it just yet. Uh, the statement is for staff, for faculty, and for students. And it's planned to appear in Welcome Day, also our strategic leadership program, our student convocations, and the various orientations um, all across um, our campuses. And we'd like to share it with you. Um, you may or may not have had an opportunity, again, to see it just yet. And we'll make it available so that you can also share it with your staff. The University of Washington is dedicated to being an inclusive environment that is welcoming to all. You are joining or you are a part of a community that is made up of those with a broad range of backgrounds, lived experiences, values, and viewpoints. We value being exposed to new experiences and ideas that challenge us and help us to learn, grow, and become prepared to contribute to our thriving community. We recognize that the world is a complex place. When we disagree, it is important that we do so with empathy and respect for each other's humanity. UW policies prohibit discriminatory harassment of all kinds, including racist, sex or gender-based, anti-Semitic, Islamophobic, ableist, and other discriminatory harassment. It is our goal that everyone in our community feels welcome and connected. We all Excuse me, we all belong here.
So one of the things um, that I wanted to talk with you about um, was how can you provide non-biased leadership support and what might that look like? And I give you a few uh, best practices, a few tips that you might want to use. And I want you to remember that politics can get deeply personal, um, which is why we probably all avoid them <laughs> at our family celebrations. Um, but political discussions can make what is um, ambiguous visible, and therefore it can cause staff to be labeled or stereotyped and even stigmatized. And we want to be able to avoid that. So as a leader, it's our role to discourage um, that type of conversation, um, the type of conversation that could potentially damage relationships. And ultimately, we want to ensure that everyone feels that they belong here at the University of Washington, just like our inclusion statement says. So I have a few things here that we'll go over. Um, acknowledging showing sympathy, promoting self-care, and practicing presence. Acknowledging that this time can be difficult for a lot of people is just uh, um, can go a long way. Showing empathy if individuals are struggling, um, right? We have to do that on an individual basis, looking at our staff, being available for them, um, promoting self-care, making sure that folks know what their resources are, um, to take care of themselves. And then uh, this last one is really just practicing leadership presence. How is it that we just are there for foe? Mm -hmm. Right. So I'd advise that during this season that you'd prepare yourself with a few statements or things that you could say. And here's what I'll offer um, that might be helpful to you along the way. Um, when you're acknowledging uh, folks' feelings or things when they come to you, you could say something like, I recognize that we may all be feeling the impacts of what is going on in our nation and our country at this time. Or maybe it's just the darkness of the season, right? Um, I'm a, I love the summer. Um, I'm a flip-flop gal. <laughs> so... Oftentimes when the seasons change, um, I have a hard time adjusting. And so it could be um, maybe someone is experiencing the impacts um, of the season in that way. And it's gotten them feeling a little bit off center and acknowledging that can go a long way, right? Um, this can be a time of reflection for everyone. As you sit with your thoughts, you may begin to notice your feelings and your feelings are information. Um, and helping our staff understand um, that it's okay for them to sit quietly and process their thoughts. Maybe they're showing up a little bit differently um, than they normally do. And, and that's okay. It's welcome here. So that's one of the ways in which we can acknowledge. Secondly, I talked about showing empathy, right, as one of those best practices. And if you're struggling to find something that you can say, um, you could say something like, I understand that this may be a difficult time, and I'm so glad that we are here to support each other. You could stop right there if that often is enough. But sometimes folks need resources, and so you could offer that. If you need to talk or, or you need help, don't hesitate to reach out, right? And um, I can connect you to resources. Making sure that you know what those resources are. You've got them at your fingertips. Um, but more than anything, it's asking what they need during this time um, and letting them, again, know the many resources that um, are available and will be available to them. Promoting self-care and community care. One of the things we want to do is remind them of how important it is, right, to take care of themselves, um, but also how important it is to take care of each other, right? Um, you could say something like, in times like these, it's important to take care of yourself and the others around you. Make sure to take your break. 
um, seek support if and when you need it. Uh, we have resources available to uh, you and anyone um, who needs support. Maybe those are their family members. Through our employee assistance program, um, there'll also be uh, other things available through the whole you. So um, those are all resources for um, our staff um, and, um, you know, our community. And lastly, um, we'll just touch on leadership presence. What does that mean? Like practicing presence. I started talking about practicing presence a few years ago um, and how important that can be. Um, sometimes folks don't need you to say anything. Sometimes it's just your presence uh, that can make a difference. And so practice being fully present with your staff. Maybe there are ways in which you can kind of clear your schedule so that you can be more present, more noticing. Um, and maybe there are other things that you're doing during that uh, time. But staff need to know that they're not alone. You get a chance to check in on them. Um, you know, think of community things that you might be able to do together during this time. Perhaps a serve project or CFP um, might be um, available for your team or even just a staff lunch or even just some quiet focus time and activities uh, will help during this time. So practicing leadership presence is, is so important um, to really um, foster trust and um, can create some deeper connections uh, on your team. And I'll end with this, is that, you know, there are, again, so many resources available to you and your team. The Employee Assistance Program, our work life, um, the whole you, also professional and organizational development um, is available for you as well. Um, but I know that you are there with your staff and you are one of their greatest resources. Um, and it takes and can take um, a lot of, out of you to be there. So remember to take care of yourself, get your coffee, get your water, whatever that looks like um, to take care of you. We're sending you definitely good thoughts uh, for this season. Remember that we are here to support you. I'll end with saying, may it be well with you. May it be well with your staff. And may it be well with our world. Take care, y'all.